Hey, what's happening, everybody? Brian the Darkness coming back at you guys from the Shadow Realm. Welcome, everybody, to the Team Forbidden's channel. And today, you guys, I'm going to be talking about the YCS Pasadena update. And at the same time, my deck, which unfortunately plummeted for Black Wings. Yikes. But nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an awesome deck profile about it. It is very strong, but unfortunately, when you're going 75% tier elements, yeah, rogue decks unfortunately did not stand a chance. But nonetheless, let's get on with the deck profile. All right, so on towards the main startings of the deck, you guys. We are going to be going with uh, three Simoon of the Poison Wind. This is your main go-to play when you end up wanting to open up in your hand to go ahead and uh, banish up for one, to go ahead and get a Black Whirlwind that will not get ashed. Then you can go ahead and Normal Summon him. Plus, you get an additional Normal Summon because it is a non-tributed summon. Unfortunately, when the YCS hit, there was a flow under his player that I was playing against, and he said I could not conduct this Normal Summon. This is false. You guys are granted out for one of the summon, plus an additional normal summon on your Black Wings. Enough said. Then you also will get burned for 1,000 when Black Whirlwind leaves the field. But if you have for Zephyros, you can go ahead and bounce it back and not get burned. Then one of the newest cards we got here is Sodri, the, uh, the Phantom Glamour. This one gets you the token. And unfortunately, I don't have a customized token just yet, but I will very soon. Uh, nonetheless, you guys, this one saw a lot of play coming in, and uh, this one is really awesome. This one allows you to go ahead and get a Blackwing uh, card uh, that basically states for Black uh, Blackwinged Dragon uh, in its text. It allows you to go ahead and add it to your hand, which is really awesome. And your main go-to for that one would also be this new one here, and this is Vada, the emblem of Wandering. And this one saw a lot of play as well in the tournament. As you guys can tell, this is your basic setup combo here. You go out for your Simoon, you go in for your Sudry, then you go in for your Vada. Or you guys can go in for their new spell, which you'll see in a minute here. So, but anyway, so for your Vada, it allows you to go ahead and special summon it. Then you have a total level of eight. You can go ahead and special summon your Black Wing Dragon right off the bat. You could go ahead and get off this and one from your deck. That way you can go ahead and play it that way. Um, it's a very good combo. It sets it up very, very nice. Um, but unfortunately, we weren't able to get off our combos. Like I said, 75 Terramint, and that's all she wrote. Next up, we have three Shamal, the Sandstorm. This one's pretty good. Even though you burn for 700, it still lets you go ahead and get uh, one of your Black Wings back into your hand, which is really, really good. Uh, my, mo my main go-to that I kept on setting up so I can go ahead and at least get my combo plays out was Simoon. Um, it doesn't specify on attack or level. So, Simoon would be your best bet to go ahead and get your starting place. But if you don't uh, have access out for Simoon, if you got banished for some reason, then go for Sudri. He's always a good choice. Uh, and then there you go. More tuners. We're going to be going with two Gale, one Vayu. Yeah, we're running Vayu. Definitely Vayu. Uh, Gale, cut the stats, special summon. Vayu to let you go ahead and get out for your Silver Wind or any other combo plays when you get out for your uh, Bellstorm, uh, which is one of the new synchros you'll see in a minute here. Next, we have one Orishi the Squall. So, Orishi the Squall, it's always good at great level one. Steam of the Cloak. This thing did not come out, unfortunately. I don't know why it did not come out. I had it in opening hand, but other than that, it just sat there. And unfortunately, it just sat there and I bricked with it. Surprisingly enough, I guess the deck doesn't need Steam of the Cloak. I'm just kidding, you guys. Don't no, keep Steam of the Cloak in your decks. Don't don't take it out. Um, and then we have one Austere, the South Wind. Uh, this did not come out. I'm sorry, it did not come out. I don't know why it didn't, but it didn't. That's the unfortunate thing on that. Uh, new one is Zonda, the Dusk. This thing is getting out. I'm going to take it out of the deck. I unfortunately had a dead draw with this thing, and I unfortunately misplayed out for Small World, which we'll see in a minute. But I misplayed Small World out for this guy, and it just, it, 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 first, first coming YCS jitters for the first timers is very, very hectic. So, and I'll let you guys know, um, I ended up going one and four because my last round, 
I unfortunately missed it because of the stupid head judge that was there. Basically called it off from a split of five seconds of the pairings. And that's basically what gave me a round loss. Also, my first round loss was unfortunately because I didn't submit the deck in. Well, how was I supposed to know? I'm a first timer, so that's the unfortunate thing. I didn't get the coin. I got a penalty, but hey, at least I got a pack and a few and... I want my coin. All right, anyways, and then we're going to be going in with one Chinook. Snowblers. Snowblast. Uh, just one. I know a lot of people run two. It's not really necessary. But it does at least give you a good setup here. Uh, you can send this card from the hand of the field to the graveyard. Target one face-up monster. Your opponent controls and one synchro monster or black wing dragon from your extra deck. And if you do, the effects will be negated and they'll lose 700 attack, which is decent. But you have other resources to go ahead and go to. Uh, one Zephyros the Elite. So you can go ahead and bounce back your Black Rowan. One Hermont in the Dust. Special Summon itself. Alternate its levels out. So you can go ahead and Synchro faster. Now on to the big boys. We're going Bistial Package. So we're going to be going with three. Magma Hut. This thing is $15 right now, you guys. So I was unfortunate to get three of them for $7.50 on TCG Player. But if you guys want to go ahead and get yours, you might as well get it right now because I really do not see a reprint, uh, a reprint in the near future, probably for a special set. But other than that, this thing is definitely going up in price. So definitely get your package um, in right now. Then we're going to be going with one bestial Druze Worm. You line up your things towards the end phase. It allows you to go into search. The unfortunate thing is, is that most of the time my pistols did not even come out. That's not my fault. That's my opponent's fault. Why? Because when you're playing up against Terrellman decks, they mill out your deck on top of their deck because they're running the Ishizu cards. So they'll mill out your deck. And then because my Mahu just so happened to be in the graveyard, they snatched it, added it to their side of the field, and they said the best quote ever. I'm going to use this on the end phase. Is that all right with you? Well, unfortunately, I have no response to that. So sure, why not go ahead and take my guy? It is your turn after all. So unfortunately, I didn't have that many disruptions to, to stop it at the time. So, oh, well. Anyways, uh, then we're going to be going with three. Ash Blossom. This at least set up a uh, disturbance towards uh, the Flow Wonderies player. So he wouldn't be able to get his search off from uh, Robin, which was actually good because that's one of their key cards that they use into the deck to go ahead and set up for combo piece. So at least was able to stop off that and I was fairly okay with that. Finally, on the monsters, we're going with two Nibiru. Oh my God, okay. So the first time I played out for Nibiru, it was awesome. It was against the uh, first Terrellman player, but unfortunately, I misplayed because he went too fast. He basically went trigger, 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 and then he basically because he goes because the tear limits go into chains, mind you. So based off from that, I missed the timing, and then they counted against it. But then the judge was nice enough, and he allowed it because it was still on to the summon. So because what he ended up doing was is that I'm going to normal, and then I'm going to summon based off a of trigger. And I'm like, dude, hold on a minute, man. Like you got to take your time at it because. Otherwise, you're just playing with yourself, so, but whatever. Um, and then that's it for the monsters, you guys. I'll be honest with you. The best match that I had of that night were three matches. First match that I had was against a hero player. We were just, you know, having fun. We were both first-timers, so why not? Uh, second match that I had that was really, really fun was uh, against a uh, one dude who both had a dropout. Um, I had a drop. Somebody else had a drop. We were right next to each other. We we're like, hey, our opponents are here. We already got a win. Hey, you want to fuck around? All right, let's go. So he literally got around the other side of the table and we started playing. But the unfortunate thing is, is that when you're playing in a YCS, don't use a red pen because because the, the judges use it. Uh, they use red pens to go ahead and confirm on your slips for your wins and your loss ratios. So don't use a red pen. Use black or blue. Also, uh, and then that also gets them mad. Also, don't take too much time. And unfortunately, we only got to have one round, but it was still pretty fun. 
Um, and then they said, go turn in your slips right now. Stop messing around. Whatever. Uh, then the third match that was really fun was when I was playing against Jarek the Fool. Really, really fun. Really, really, really fun. Uh, he was playing for his uh, Eldritch Tear Elements, and I was playing against Black Wings. It was a nice face-off, nice and casual, good fun. Um, and which, by the way, you guys, I'll have a, another zombie deck that will be coming um, updated in the near future. All right, guys, so uh, now on towards this here. We're going to be going with Two Small World. It lets you go off based off attribute and type and all of that. It lets you go ahead and get out for two to get to one to your hand, which is really, really nice. Black Whirlwind, it's the main go-to of the deck. Uh, can't run any more than three, unfortunately, but you should never run less than the three. You always have to have three. Then we're going to be going with three Allure. It's our draw power for the deck. Unfortunately, we're on budget here, so we're not going to be going with Pot of Prosperity. It's still pretty expensive, so we're going to kind of wait on towards that. One Black Feather Whirlwind it allows you to go ahead and set up combo pieces off with your Black Winged Dragon, which is really awesome. One Called by the Grave, it's Called by the Grave. Traps, we're running uh, two Black Winged Twin Shadow. Twin Shadow is always nice. You never, you never know when you're going to have it in a tight spot. You want to go ahead and Synchro Summon right off the bat. You go ahead and take out the two. And then you can go ahead and tag and synchro summon. It's really, really fun. Then, of course, we're going with three impermanence. It is impermanence. It's literally the second best hand trap in the game. So why not? On towards the extra deck, it's pretty self-explanatory. You see a lot of deck profiles also with these kind of ones. We're going... We're going with uh, one Blackwing Assault Dragon, one Bora Storm, the Wicked Wind, one Former Master, one Nathung, one Silver Wind. It's kind of hard to see it. So on, one Silver Wind, one Blackwing Dragon, one Draco Berserker, one Hot Red Archfiend Abyss, and finally one uh, Savage Borload, Borload Savage. These are your key components to go ahead and combo off each other once they're out onto the field. Bring the uh, bring the Black Wings back to go ahead and bring out more and get a full-on assault going. You use Boar Storm to go ahead and uh, combo off, send out Vayu into the graveyard, all that fun stuff. One White Strix, it's Winged Beast. Nightmare Unicorn, it's one of the best. IP Macarena, uh, Mascarena. It's one of the best. One Excessive Code Talker. I saw that in a lot of play. I at least brought it out twice and got it beefed up really scary. Then we have one Abyss Dweller. It's always good against Terror Laments and nullifies the graveyard. One Evil Swarm Nightmare. Same thing. Go ahead and put things into defense, which is really stupid. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the Phantom token, but that's okay. I do have other tokens, so I have three Nibiru tokens. Yay. One Steamy Hot. Stim of the Cloak token, haha. <laughs> On towards the side deck, we are going to be going with three Solemn Judgment. So it's going to have those for counter. Three Dimensional Barrier, because a lot of stuff, especially towards Terror Elements with Fusions. Three Lightning Storm, it's Lightning Storm, so it's a good side deck card. Three Twin Twister, it's Twin Twister, and three Dark Ruler, no more. So that's it for the deck profile, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As far as my experience with the YCS, not too bad. Would I do another one? Sure, why not? Maybe in the near future. <laughs> Nonetheless, you guys, it was a pretty awesome event. Uh, I had some good ones and some bad ones. Uh, I got to meet my favorite uh, YouTube channel, Crush Cards. Shout out. You guys are awesome. Thank you for letting me take a picture with you guys. It was a lot of fun. And maybe we'll have a collab in the future. Or even then, a match. That would be even better. So thank you everybody for watching. And I'll see you guys all in the next time. Don't forget to go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit that post notification bell. Check out our social media. Peace out.